Hi, this is Tanya with another Technique by Tanya video. Uh, this is a wreath. You can only see part of it because I can't stand and get it in focus and let you see the whole wreath at the same time. But anyway, this is a wreath that I made for the Bow Bunny blog. And when this project was posted up on the blog, we received a ton of inquiries as to how I went about making these flowers. So this video today is going to show you how you too can make your own paper roses. So I'm going to take this wreath away and sit down and show you how to make them. So the first thing you need to do is gather your supplies. And the supplies that you will need is you need some glue and you need scissors, you need some ink and a blending tool. That's the way I ink the edges of things. Some people just do the edge of the paper directly to the pad of ink. However you do it, you will need some ink to ink up the edges. And you need a little cocktail stick or a toothpick. I use a toothpick because that's what I have. Alright, so what you're going to do, some of this I have pre-made so you don't have to watch me do every little step, but what you need to start with are three squares of paper all the same size. This is a 4 by 4 inch square. You can use any size you want. Obviously, the smaller the square of paper, the smaller your end result of your rose will be, and the larger the square of paper you use, the larger your rose will be. So I don't know if I said this, but this is a four inch square that I have started with. So you're gonna take all three of those squares, and remember they're all the same size to begin with, and you're going to fold it in half so that you have a triangle. Fold that triangle in half again, and then do one more folding of it in half. Then you want to hold the fold the, cor the corner that's been repeatedly folded in your finger and you're going to cut a petal shape out of this. And the more arched you make the top of this petal shape, the easier it is to roll down the top of your flowers when you get to that point in the petals. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut out this petal shape here. And I don't know if any of you have these scissors or not, but if you don't, I highly recommend them. They make cutting through layers and layers of paper so much easier. So we have this little shape, kind of looks like an ice cream cone or a one petal. Then we're also going to come in and we're just going to cut off the tip of the petal here because this, when you make the flower and you layer all of those together on top of one another, it makes it so the flower doesn't stand up quite so much, it takes off some of that dimension. Um, okay, then we're going to unfold the flower and this is what it looks like. You should have an eight petal flower with the center cut out and you should have three of them once you do all three pages. Then we're going to take our ink. And like I said, I use a blending tool. You may not choose to. You may choose to just go directly to the ink pad and just ink up the very edges of all of your petals. Okay, we're going to pretend I did a really nice job on that. I've already inked the other two. Okay, now this is where it comes tricky and I hope you can follow along with me. You're going to pick up your first flower and you're going to cut away two petals. So there's my first cut and there's my second cut. So now I have two petals here and six petals here. Lay those down, go to your next flower and you're going to cut off three petals. So that leaves you with a chunk that has five petals and one that has three petals. Then you're going to go to your last flower and you're going to cut it in half. So you're going to have four and four. Okay. One of those I'm going to stick with a bunch of them. And then I'm going to have one four piece flower piece left over. And I'm going to cut one of those petals off with that, put it there with that stash, and I'm going to discard that extra three. So when I look at this I should have one petal two petals, three petals, four petals, five petals, and six petals. Okay. Then you're going to take your glue and you're going to glue one petal, top of one petal here. Okay. And then you're going to take the other petal on the other end and you're going to lay it on top of that. So then you end up with a piece that looks like this. Okay. Then you're going to go and you're going to do that with all the remaining pieces and obviously each time you fold it up you will have one less petal on your ring. Ok, 
Okay, you could do that all the way down. I'm not going to do them all because you don't want to sit here and watch me do it all. Obviously, when you get down to number two, you have nothing to fold it onto, so do not glue the ones that have two petal and one petal. And I'll show you what to do with those. So then you're going to take um, your cocktail stick or your toothpick, as I really rather calling it, and you're going to take each of these rings that you've now made. I'm going to push these off to the side because I have other ones that I've already pre-rolled. So here I'm working with the biggest ring. It has five petals on it because I overlapped this. this uh, it had six. I overlapped them, which took away one petal, so I now have five. And you're going to take your cocktail stick, put it behind the tip of each of these petals, and just roll down. Do it to the next one, and just roll down all the way around. And you're going to do that to all of the different um, flowers that you have made. So then I would do it with the one that has four and so on and so on. Now when you get to the one that just has two petals, I like to go ahead and roll the tips over on both of them. And then I like to stick my toothpick on the inside or on the top on the end here and then just wrap this around the toothpick just as if you were making the center of the flower because that is what you were doing. It's kind of tricky but you just got to be more stubborn than the paper and it will work for you. Uh, okay and you end up with something like that and then you need to glue that there. And then you kind of do the same thing with this one that has one petal, roll the flower petal over, put it on the inside, and then just wrap it around on itself and glue that. So see, that would be the center of your flower. Once you have all of those done, you should have six pieces that look like this. This was my six petal that now has five petals, my five petal that now has four rolled petals, my four petals that now have three petals, this was the three petal that now has two petals, this is what the two petals should look like, and the one petal should look like. Now all we do is assemble the flower. So you want to take a little bit of glue, and you're going to obviously put this very, uh, put the smaller one into the bigger one, and the bigger one into the bigger one. So I'm going to take my biggest one and my second biggest one, and on the second biggest one I'm going to glue around the inside or the outside edges of the base of the flower, and I'm going to stick it into the bigger one. And then take the next smaller one and put it inside of that one. And now you want to make sure that you don't have all of your flowers going the same way. Just kind of twist them a little bit here and there until you kind of get the look you want. Okay, I'm going to take my next one, put it in. Now when I get down to where all of your flowers are going the same way, just kind of twist them a little bit here and there until you kind of get the look you want. Okay, I'm going to take my next one, put it in. Now when I get down to where I'm at the last two, I sometimes find it fits a little better if you go ahead and cut off a little more. You can you know, test that out on your own and practice and see what you really think of it. But I find it makes it lay a little bit better and nicer. Otherwise the center of the flower sticks up too much because it's just you can't push it in there deep enough. And of course my glue isn't quite dried yet so this isn't going to be holding but there's the finished result. So, I hope to see you all make a bunch of your own flowers and uh, get busy on it. <laughs> Let me see what you create. Thanks.